All right, so welcome back everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about TCP and its port. Let's take an example of this trade in a way. And that's, that's help you to understand uh, TCP and its port very well, all right? Okay, so so in this example, uh, there are multiple home, there are multiple apartments, okay? And there are three apartments and every apartment has, has got its name number maybe let's say so first one has got 21 second 22 third would be 23 all right so that's pretty good now each of this apartment shared the same street you see this now all of these all of three apartments share the same street and the name number of the street is 1909 okay uh, i think as of now it's, it's really perfect right exactly the same way you, um, all of your application maybe you have Chrome maybe you have Skype running on your laptop or maybe uh, Firefox as well each of this application will consume a specific port number this starts from 1 goes till 65,535 and the application can take any any of this you know any of this uh, port number okay from 1 to 65535 for example chrome can take uh, 55858 uh, i can't really remember this number but yeah i mean uh, these are all random so every time you 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 run uh, a new chrome extension new chrome browser every time every day even every minute you get a new port assigned to those application to those application in fact on your computer but if you see all of these ports and applications and with their specific port number will be sharing the same ip address on your computer so that's your ip address at this moment just like the way we understood about apartments and the shared street number all right so i hope you got the idea now this is pretty much clear okay now let's go a bit more further now if all of uh, all the apartment members need to go to shopping or buy some grocery uh, they will be making use of the same street right and let's say for example there's nearby shop and this is here you know and uh, uh, so with the same route in fact and this shop has got its own number right this shop has got its number as 99 so uh this would be this would be the site residing on a different street maybe the street number is 2001 correct so you got the analogy you got the uh, idea that everything that uh, resides in, in this analogy has got their uh, shop number or apartment number and will be there on a certain street and the street will be having its own number exactly the same way everything that happened on the internet uh, of course they have to have the tcp ip stack tcp protocol and this should have a port as well that's what we un we understood when we when we talked about every application on your computer will be having their port but when those need to every day those application maybe let's say chrome need to talk to the uh, uh, you need to open maybe google.com on your browser or maybe skype.com from your skype application maybe on the fire mozilla firefox you need to go to microsoft.com in that case your destination would be let's say it's you want to uh, you type google.com then in that case your destination is google server right google.com now this google server or google application will be on a google uh, own server or own data center right so this is where it would be and in that case also your Google will be consuming a certain port number because it's a server that's why it has to be a well-known port number it can't be a random remember this server need to be running on a well-known ports so if it's a web application it has to be either 80 or 443 because Google always makes sure it runs on secure authentic secure protocol. That's why it's 443. Uh, that's why it is HTTPS, secure HTTPS. That's why whenever you browse or whenever you type google.com, you see a green color mark on the top, right? That indicates it's not 80, it's 443. 
that means it's not HTTP, it's HTTPS, which is secure HTTP, right? Now this Google.com service will be run, will be running on a Google data center or Google server, which will be on a specific IP address. I hope you're getting the idea, right? What we talked about from the user side, similar thing works on the server side as well, because that's the way your communication really works on the internet, right? So I hope you got the analogy, right? The shop belongs to Google. The street name of the shop belongs to the uh, Google IP address, server IP address, right? And the path is basically your internet. I hope you got the idea about TCP. If you have any question, I'll be in the Q&A. Take care. Thank you.